As you walk out the door, here are seven big things we're following for you today. April 26th, we're talking about snow I this know. morning, <laughs> Eric, and colder yeah, weather. It snowed up in northeast New Mexico. We've got snows up on the Sangre de Cristos. Santa Fe, we're up from 32 to 33. We're real close to freezing, uh, holding in the low 40s around Rio Rancho and Albuquerque. Clouds have not yet broken from yesterday's storm system. Still a few draped overhead. The wind is calm right now, so that 42 feels like 42. It's only low and mid 60s this afternoon. An isolated shower can't be ruled out, but most spots will be dry. Uh, more friendly winds sustain speeds in the teens throughout the day. Thank you, Eric. In this morning's top stories, the town of Edgewood passed an ordinance on restricting abortion access. According to the journal, it was approved on a four to one vote after an eight and a half hour meeting last night. The ordinance would restrict access to any drugs used to produce an abortion through the mail. It would also make it harder for abortion clinics looking to open in that town to get supplies. Happening today, jury deliberations begin this morning in the trial of the man accused of killing a West Side mother in her driveway. Luis Talamantes Romero is charged with the shooting death and attempted robbery of Jackie V. Hill back in 2019 in Albuquerque. Closing arguments were heard in court yesterday. If convicted, Talamantes Romero could face life in prison. Jury deliberations start at 830 this morning. Also happening today, an Albuquerque woman who police say brought her dead baby to her parents' house will be in court for a different case. Police were called to a home on Ralph Avenue near Eubank and Constitution Friday afternoon. And when officers got there, they say they found Christina Bennett holding the little girl's body. A police say Bennett refused to give the child to emergency personnel as they wanted to try and take care of the baby. Uh, she's so far not facing any charges in relation to the child's death. Bernalillo County Sheriff John Allen already making changes within BCSO. That includes more efforts for transparency from the sheriff's office to the public. So he says they are making crime stats available online for the public. Sheriff Allen says that the new reporting is knocking down crime in certain areas like auto theft. House Republicans delayed a vote on a sweeping debt ceiling package. The bill raises the nation's debt ceiling in exchange for spending cuts on some federal programs. The White House argues the bill would hurt programs helping everyday families, seniors and veterans and benefit the wealthy instead. President Biden says he plans to veto the measure if it passes. Well, you know what we like to say when it comes to traffic, no news is good news. Traffic volumes no doubt increasing as we approach 7 a.m., but the side streets and the interstate lanes are only showing us green. Real-time indicators, no unusual delays, no accidents to tell you about.